Hey guys, it's me. It's my first video recording. I wanted to start doing stuff like this for a while now, but I didn't... I would either always forget or I would mess it up somehow because I'm not good at editing and I have a tendency to do everything in one take. But hopefully my practice in scream of consciousness writing will help my thoughts be kind of coherent for this. So I'm just going to talk because it's one of those days where at some point I'm lying on a bed or on the floor just staring at the ceiling because I have a minute to myself and I can actually say out loud how hard it is to have a child with the level of nonverbal autism that my kid has. And there's certain things that I can't go into detail about because it would do nothing but be shaming and embarrassing for her if, God forbid, she ever did grow old enough to learn how to speak and see a video and comprehend that it's about her and find out that her mom was saying and revealing really private, embarrassing things for the world to see. And I've seen other parents do that to their kids with autism and it's not okay and I guess that's something I've been wanting to say for a long time it's like taking a snapchat of somebody naked in a gym bathroom or a gym locker room I should say and posting it for the world to see because in your feeble mind you thought it was funny or you honestly thought you were trying in this case they think that, that they're helping but how would you like it if your parents videotaped you at your worst and posted it publicly on the internet without your consent just did it because you pissed them off and hell there's a chance they could get some revenue for it so why not That's how I perceive it. Maybe I don't put it as eloquently as a lot of others would, but I'm just literally staring at the ceiling because it's blank. And it's white and uninterrupted. And it's like staring at a big canvas. And if I look long enough, sometimes... It just 
hypnotizes me for a little bit, I guess. And keeps me from completely falling apart. Because there's a lot of things that I go through every day that I don't talk about that makes me want to fall apart. Because I decided to have this child and I really didn't think I would be able to have children because of all the fertility problems I had starting back when I was 15. Maybe they weren't fertility problems back then, but they were... There are things that happened that I... Things that I had that could severely affect my fertility. And six months before... I got pregnant with Lexi. I had a miscarriage. And I didn't even really go public, completely public with my pregnancy until I had hit about six months. Because statistically, I was much less likely to have a miscarriage. Even though the entire time you're pregnant, you're never really safe from one. And then once, even when I was showing, I wouldn't, I would cover it up. Because I was just too scared to go on my private Facebook and tell, you know, the people that I went to school with and everything that I was having my first kid because God forbid, you know, soon after I had another miscarriage or she wound up Dying in utero and I would have to Anyway It's not that I expected this to be easy. It's just that even at... Her being nine years old, I didn't expect to be forced to do this alone. Because my parents are senior citizens and they can only do so much and I have to help them too. They have their own physical limitations that I don't have that I have to be there to help them with. And I'm glad that I was one of the women who was strong and smart enough and lucky enough to get out of 
the relationship. And that I had parents who didn't brainwash me into thinking that I had to marry in order to have kids. Even though I have relatives who think that I should, but I have to do what's best for my child, not what's best for my reputation. (sighs) And... starting to feel my blood pressure go back to normal. So I suppose I can just go upload this and see what happens because I'm not doing this again. And if the quality is poor, then so be it. But My, um, staring at the ceiling time is up, so I have to go. And I guess next Wednesday I'll make another recording. So hopefully the rest of the day gets easier. Because all I can do is take it day by day. I don't really have a choice because giving up isn't an option. If you made it all the way through, thanks for listening. I appreciate it.